Now I'm holding the Intel 361R 1 inch Leica mod in my hand and today we're gonna to talk about the pure shot on this camera uh, after the previous update of the Insta 361R actually the 1R camera is very competitive even with the latest GoPro Hero 9 the pure shot will make the 4K mod and the 1 inch Leica mod even more powerful when, especially when you are taking night shot and compared with the night shot in my opinion sometimes the pure shot works surprisingly well and even better compared with night shot so in this video I'm gonna take you through all the steps you need to know about pure shot and some more tips and tricks to help you to master the pure shot like never before so want to know more about it keep watching my name is Yujun Guo I love 360 photography a lot and on my channel you can learn a lot about 360 photography and master the one shot 360 camera like never before okay actually the pure shot now only works with a 4k mod and one inch Leica mod in this video I'm gonna take you through the one inch Leica mod I have in my hand to enter the pure shot is very easy because uh, it's just an additional button on the normal photo mode here you can see that with this when you open that you can see there is a new button on the bottom left of the screen that has some stars based on the image so this is a pure shot so it will enable that every shot will be taken in raw mode in DNG format and a single DNG shot when you open the camera connect the camera with Insta360 One R app the app will use some artificial intelligence very smart algorithm to post process fine tune the single raw format to boost the shadow the details and also compress the highlight and the result is pretty awesome So now let's take a look at how to use the pure shot on the Insta 361 r camera. The, to set everything into auto mode to show you how simple and how amazing it is to capture with pure shot. So in photo mode, you can see uh, you can select some modes. I I gonna use uh, I don't want to use any for recommendation and se select everything to auto and auto white balance. And in this option menu now you can see be sure to turn on the pure shot mode. If you turn it off, that will help you capture only a single JPEG file. But when you turn it on, it will capture a single raw photo and with artificial intelligence algorithm, the app will fine tune the camera in a very smart way, to boost the detail in shadow and surprise highlight. Finally, you can get a very amazing result. Here you can see that. Uh, judging by the preview, you can see it's pretty dark in my shot situation and I can always select ultra wide, white, narrow or linear. So for me, I always use ultra wide or wide to get the best overall result because I can always crop in pose, very simple in the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna choose the ultra wide mode and select the three second countdown. And uh, here you're gonna see me in this shot with all the beautiful night in the photo and the video okay so let's take a look at the shot you can see that i was only captured with handheld and every setting was set to auto and after a little while the camera will capture a single raw file and it's a pre and it's a preview message you can see this and when you actually access the single raw file in insta 361 app the app will automatically generate the pure shot please wait it will really take around uh, 20 to 13 seconds it's really really fast and we first copy the raw file into the cell phone and everything was done with artificial intelligence straight in your cell phone and everything was done in full auto mode you can see you can see the synthesizing has been complete and the result is pretty awesome you can see uh, the, the great amount of detail on my face and now you can see the uh, well preserved highlight detail in the background uh, here you can see you can turn it on and off to see the before and after comparison so this is was this is this one was shot without the pure shot mode you can see it's quite dark on my on my clothes and the details is just too dark on my face and background also is lost a lot of detail but when you turn on the pure shot yeah I can see it was 
boosted everywhere and every detail has been squeezed out from a single shot of the raw DNG format. It's quite different from night mode. So night mode, you can see a comparison before the night mode. You can see that I'm gonna shoot some uh, photos in night mode. The night mode is gonna capture 8 plus 1 raw DNG format. So it's like uh, a DNG 8 with a minus 4 EV single raw family. So all together you're gonna capture 9 raw DNG file uh, with night mode. So it is quite different from the pure shot. In pure shot, you only need to shot in single raw format. It's very really fast and it's very really more responsive. Very good shot here you can see that this is how i can get in night mode and this is how i can get with a single raw photo with a pure shot so actually the pure shot really did a great job and the post process algorithm is pretty advanced compared with the night shot so so actually you can actually when you play with the pure shot there are more potential you can squeeze out from this great feature with the AI boosted fine-tuning in post process based on a single raw image here I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks for you to can boost the pure shot to a much more powerful stage okay so actually when you take a pure shot uh, you do have more options compared with uh, Insta 360 one or night mode here you can see that I have enabled the pure shot then when you swipe from the right to left, you can see you have more options. You can either shoot in RAW plus JPEG, you choose an ultra wide or different angle. And this one is very cool. You can select full menu control for the pure shot so that you can control the shutter speed like this. Or you can control the white balance and uh, you can also control the ISO. Uh, you can control everything actually you have more options like the iso priority mode you can lock the iso and let the camera decide the best export settings and you can also have a uh, shutter speed priority mode that you can uh, leave you can lock the shutter speed and let the camera decide which is the best white balance which is the best iso settings and uh, export composition value okay so with all this control it can make your pure shot even more capable compared with the night mode so when you shot with night mode you cannot control every parameters of this uh, settings what you can do is only press the shutter button and everything was set in auto and the data amount is much larger compared with the pure shot another tip about pure shot is to set the pure shot as a standard mode uh, for example you can uh, you can either set this one to register this mode and save as preset so next time you can quickly access the pure shot uh, it, for me i always leave pure shot on by default to keep to shot the best imaging quality out from the insta 361 r push the limit of the pure shot to push the limit of the imaging quality you can get from a single raw image you can control every settings in the shot you can control the iso the shutter speed and some more of the options you can have in the control menu because it's just like a professional dsr so different from the night shot in the night shot everything was set in full auto mode so in the night mode because we have to multi stack the image so actually it's for the exporter criteria there's an upper limit of around 1 over 5 second so everything that is darker compared with the 1 over 5 second the camera will, will use tend to use higher ISO to lower down the image quality and you can bring back the quality by stacking the merge but yes that is not that fast compared with pure shot in pure shot if you can shot in a very stable position you can have if you shot in a very stable environment you can always choose a full menu or at least use iso priority mode to maintain the best possible imaging quality in a pure shot always shoot in pure shot mode because 
uh, you can never go back when you see the result of the pure shot. And in the future, I also have more expectation about the pure shot. So number one is actually the pure shot has a, a very advanced AI based post process based on a single shot. So if you could apply the same artificial intelligence algorithm to night mode, actually you're gonna have even more stunning results with by stacking the merge and deghosting. That is it's a way more potential you can squeeze out from the Insert 61 or image sensors. Uh, another expectation about uh, the pure shot is that this feature has now only been equipped with the 4K mod in, and the 1 inch light camera. I know that the GoPro Hero 9 has released the market and why not always want to be competitive at the very beginning when the GoPro Hero 9 released. But don't forget, we do have lots more 360 users that love the 360 mount very much. So if you could apply the same feature to 360 build, I think that will help you more of the users to capture stunning shot in 360. For in the future, I also want to see that feature in the Insta 361 R1X, the second generation 1X. Pure shot really provides more possibilities for the small and the compact camera, especially the one shot 360 camera. Uh, and uh, I do want to see that for some other camera manufacturer like the Ricoh and Canon to benefit more of the 360 users in the 360 community. So the pure shot could actually create a very stunning result with a very simplified workflow. So just to turn it on and press the shutter button and see in the app and for everything else was done automatically for you in the camera and in the app. So the Insta 361 on camera really have a very good user experience and the result is always awesome. I love this feature very much and if you found this video helpful please don't forget to sum up, subscribe and hit notification bell. In the future I'm gonna share with you more about some of the uh, greatest technology, greatest tips and tricks in the OneShot360 photography. So stay tuned, until next time, bye!